We so like now you. we're on we at like number you, 11, public, public Works Department Classification and Compensation Adjustments. Go for it. So. All right, so uh, so with this item, it is to pro provide classification and compensation options necessary to recruit and retain crucial roles within the Public Works Department. So within the Public Works organizational structure, we're looking at addressing three areas, the laboratory staff, analyst and assistant, the utility superintendent, and then the assistant Public Works Director positions. And so... I don't know if you look at our structure. This is a really small, and so I apologize for this trying to fit. But um, basically, you have the utility superintendent um, position that's, it, that's basically overseeing the first level managers for the utilities divisions, the wastewater and the water treatment plant, and then with the uh, laboratory analyst and assistant position over on this arm of it, and then with the assistant public works director position. So, so I'll start out with the uh, laboratory staff. So. It's been difficult to retain and recruit qualified candidates. So only one staff member out of the recently five hired within the last five years still remains. And with that, um, the laboratory technician, so we looked at, so basically we're having a hard time keeping the technician and the, and the assistants. Yeah, it was, uh, we were getting really high qualified applicants where they were coming out of college with uh, degrees four-year degrees and just with the pay and the scope they were they were moving on and so we took a close look at the positions and talked to the union and we looked at um, changing the, the the title from for the technician the laboratory technician to a laboratory analyst and refining the uh, the the, um, the job description and then also adjusting the pay to be comparable to comparable cities So, and so with that, with the, uh, lab so when we went, looked at the laboratory tech positions, we, um, the laboratory assistants, we, we thought we need to clean up the whole series. And so with that, we're proposing to, to adjust all of them and, and bring them up to comparable and, and match. And so there's five budgeted positions, two lab analysts, two, one lab analyst, one and two lab assistants. The total impact for this annually was, uh, was approximately $59,000. 58830 is a projected annual cost. So the utility superintendent position. <clears throat> the assistant public works director <clears throat> utilities been manager position has been vacant for uh, approximately three years um, with the past incumbent uh, changing roles and then retiring. The, uh, the position has been... Uh, been unable to fill it when we went out to a job um, um, recruiter uh, basically for that for that t level of expertise and experience uh, there's just um, nobody on the market for that position and so with this what we're proposing to do is underfill the the deputy the assistant public works director utilities position with a utility superintendent and so it basically it's, it's lowered the um, uh, technical um, as far as the, the maybe the engineering qualifications or the um, or as far as having the operator um, certificates to, to be in that position. And, and it's um, but we, f we feel like um, uh, we could fill that role, fill that role and it's needed. With um, with the diversity that we have down there, with the water treatment plant, the, the wastewater plant, the um, the laboratory, and those different uh, segments, there's a lot going on, and, and um, it really um, could use a full time staff member there coordinating those activities and, and helping out. So the fiscal impact with that, um, there's an actual cost savings because of the underfill that we're looking at um, around twenty one thousand dollars a year. Okay, and so the assistant public works director. So this one rings true for myself here. And so, as you know, the um, the public works director is acting as the interim role for as the city manager, which is leaving many day-to-day -day tasks to mid management. Department currently has two deputy. The department currently has two deputy directors, but city policy. Um, and the job specifications require that an assistant director serve as the substitute in the director's absence. So staff is proposing that we temporarily create 
the assistant public works director while she's acting in the interim role. And so with that, that has a fiscal cost of approximately $22,000 a year. So overall, we're looking at a, a net of about $60,000 annually for those changes. But with that, you know, it's a big number to look at annually increasing, but it, it really affects approximately seven positions. And it, um, it doesn't take into consideration um, the vacancy with the public works director at this time. So with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Through the mayor, is that total comp or just yeah. salary? That's total comp. Thank you. I was going to make a motion. If you don't think no, no, no motion. I've got one request to speak on the item from Mike Short, and he uh, requested it uh, over 24 hours. I'm asking you five minutes if you're here. Yeah. All right. <coughs> be kind of painful being the last item on the agenda, but I've suffered through that before. I'm Mike Short. I uh, live at 2347 Oregon Way at Shanghai Bend. Uh, Mayor Harris, City Council, I appreciate the opportunity to be here. I just want to explain that these are my roots. I'm from Meridian. I went to Sutter High, Yuba College, but I spent 30 years working for the city of Tempe, Arizona, and uh, I've been through all kinds of council agendas and items like this, and I went through it three times, and I was really trying to make an effort to understand it, and there's just too much there. It's just too much going on, too many moving parts. I even thought about trying to maybe graft it out myself, but I didn't have any flip charts, so I didn't have enough room to do it. I tried to maybe think about doing it on my wall, but blew it off. My concern here is that I'm having a great deal of difficulty in understanding this whole package, and I'm con somewhat concerned that perhaps somebody with maybe a little less experience, that it would be very difficult for you to truly understand what you're voting on because it's such a huge package. And I would strongly suggest that you go with alternate A, approach each of those individually because first off I'm not sure you're aware that, that you can't go back this is a done deal if you pass these resolutions you'll be obligating the city to at least beginning at sixty thousand dollars per year to eternity you'll be impacting your grandchildren and their children what you will be approving will last forever I and I just I'm concerned that in light of the the massive uh, changes you're trying to make that it's going to be impossible for any constitu constituent to ever stand what you're doing and plus you trying to describe what you're doing. So I guess I would really encourage you to go with alternate A. a. I, I know there are a lot of changes that have occurred in public works and those do need to address be addressed in some manner, but I think going to this you know, big one fell swoop is just too much. Thank you. Yeah, I think he needs one. All right, anybody else care to speak? Thank you, sir. All right, that being said. Okay, it's a motion. Do the mayor would like to make a motion of staff's recommendation for the Public Works Department's classification and comp savings adjustments, uh, A, B, and C? And just to clarify, that's motion to approve that? Yes, I'm sorry, motion okay. to approve, I'm sorry. All right, motion to approve, I have a second? Second. Second, all those in favor? Wait, Mr. I mayor, yes. uh, I was wanting to discuss before the uh, well, motion go ahead. came forward, if I can. Um, that. No problem. Um, uh, Ben, on on these this organizational restructure, um, the things that and the questions I have is because we're really looking at a organizational chart that we deal with in even private sector, where you're trying to get the right people for the right job, 
And um, with creating these positions, are we not only going to be able to get the right people for the right job, but are we creating potential advancements within our own ranks uh, for our loyal employees that's been here uh, for years, you know, to kind of, um, um, as you said, the uh, utility superintendent. I mean, I'm a novice. I don't know whether you need a chemist like the North End or a biologist on the South End to to run both of those or someone with both. Um, but I want to make sure that we're, as we do this, we're going to be looking within kind of first and giving everyone ample opportunity versus just reaching out of the area. And I realize with the lab analysts, we've had no success because they come in and we can't keep them and they leave because um, we're basically not salary uh, um, equality with where they can go 20 minutes down the road and work. Um, so that's kind of my, just my question. Is this physically sound, organizationally sound, and is it going to create an environment for internal advancement with doing these? So yes, so with the with the assistant public works director and myself, that's an obvious um, potential um, growth for me, um, and it's temporary. So so with that, it's set up that it's only temporary, and it would when this, the interim city manager changes, then they would come back and readdress that. And so to add to Mr. Short's comment, that setup is temporary. With the utility superintendent, it's actually underfilling. The current position and it's and it's underfilling it but it's not eliminating that position so as that person develops and grows it, it, it provides that opportunity so it it, um, it allows that opportunity for more internal um, growth because so, now now we have from not having um, a qualified applicant now we do have qualified applicants internally okay. and then we we have that room to grow and then uh, basically with the lab analyst and lab assistant, it, that's really just a cleanup. We can't keep anybody there. We're adjusting it up to approximately 23% for lab analysts to get it within the comparable cities. Okay. Yeah, thank you. You clarified. I wanted to make sure we had an opportunity for internal by doing this. So thank you. All right, thank you. I apologize again if I missed your desire to comment. So we have a uh, motion to approve staff's recommendation and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? Unanimous. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you.